Hey guys, welcome back to Civilization VI Gathering Storm as Christina of Sweden. We are moving right along. I'm thinking of putting a city right about here. Take a look at the lens. Or maybe even right here. So that we're out of the uh, pressure range. Now, of course, we'll get loyalty a little bit. But um, I think we could get a city right about here. And we would get the rice. We would get the amber. The copper. And here's stone and iron. So possibly maybe even on this negative two tile would not be terrible. So let's go ahead and pin that. Right there will be our next city, or a city potential location. And we're probably going to want to buy tiles out to the fissure, because that will give us bonus to science. All right, and let's see. We have uh, archer, warrior, archer, warrior. We're going to need probably a couple more units here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get another archer. And I'm not going to sell him any diplomatic favor. <clears throat> All right. I heard a barbarian camp up there. Let's go clear that out. Oh, we have stone over here, too. Very nice. And horses. Oh, this is going to be a really nice location over here for a city. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we're almost done with political philosophy. I'm not selling her. She wants to sell us iron, but I don't want to give up any diplomatic favor, nor do I want to give her open borders. Yeah, well, we're growing. <laughs> That's typical of uh, higher difficulties. They like to uh, the AI likes to antagonize you. Let's send the uh, warrior as well to help clear that camp. Very nice. This is going to be a really nice city right here, despite the loyalty pressure. But we can deal with that with a um, when we put in a governor down there, so that'll come in handy. Okay. Well, I think I'll go with horseback riding. We do have horses. We can make horsemen. They're quick. They're fast. They're agile. They're great for exploring with. The rising world ah. we wonder. This is a new one. I have not seen this one before. Very neat. Let's see what the yields are for it. Okay, so it looks like faith and um, production and food. Interesting. All right. Next turn. Yeah, we'll see how we're we doing on our error score here. We're 26. I think we'll be able to get to 32 at least. At least the normal era. At least. How many more turns was it? Let's see, 46 to 70. I think we'll be I think we'll um be able to get there. Alright, let's head on up towards that barbarian camp. And we'll have Rapa Nui as a neighbor. Yes, we do have few troops. We can't underestimate the AI because I we don't know how they're going to react and respond. All right, so here we go with um, our political philosophy. So government is unlocked, and I think we're going to go with um, classic republic. 
So that'll give us some, um, uh, per, uh, you know, bonus towards uh, great people. So let's see, reduce the cost of purchasing a tile, which we will be using soon. I guess we could use it now. Let's do production in all cities. Um, your first envoy you send to each state counts as two. And wild card. See, money is okay. We can do money for a little bit just to get it just to get a little bit of that going. I really thought about scientist. But I think we'll focus a little on the gold for a few moments. Because um, we can get this iron and then get some uh, swordsmen. And that will help to discourage... <coughs> excuse me. That will help to discourage any of the uh, AI who wants to potentially do a sneak attack or something like that to us. We'll go ahead and get drama and poetry because we will kind of want to focus on um, getting those... Uh, Specialty districts going as well as units or you know great people points So now we're getting close to Pachacuti kind of see his area a little bit see what's going on over there Okay So we were just talking about uh, the potential uh, possibilities <laughs> of an attack so what we'll do is we will looks like we're about to get that so I'm gonna go ahead and bring the warrior down I'll get him over here so that we can get to a road that'll be faster I'm gonna go ahead and take the shot I do want to take that camp so that we can get some error score so that will be a possibility we can even send the scout up here to give us maybe a little bit of help. Well, now we know. So, Eleanor apparently is uh, a rather aggressive sieve in the game. We don't have walls. Let's see how long would it take to make them. 15 turns. Yeah, I don't think it'd be worth it unless we had like a builder down here to clear the jungle, but... We will, uh, we will deal with her however she wants to uh, approach it. Uh, the only tile that they could really affect would be this amber. So for right now, I think we're, we'll be able to hold off any attack she may throw at us. But we will need to make some units. And I have another archer up here as well. Oh, he already took the camp. Mexico grabbed it. Well, oh, that's a shame. All right, let's get you near our road. Okay, we got one more turn on this archer, so that'll come in handy. What I might do is um, stop production on the, um, well, we can go ahead and make a unit here in Stockholm. That'll be fine. So let's see, we have, we can make an additional warrior. In four turns. Okay. Fortify him. Bring the archer. We'll have these guys down here in a bit. Of course, if we had walls, that would that would help. I mean, they might pop the city a couple of times, depending on how well we can hold them off. I don't know how well the scout could do against a uh, a warrior, but if we did attack the warrior and win, then the heavy chariot could potentially um, harm us. So let's go ahead and, if we can, we'll just go ahead and take out the warrior. And now he's done. Yeah, we are going to want to buy probably this tile at least. 
that will give us that additional science bonus okay he's getting a little close to our scout I don't like that so I'm gonna move the scout out of the way all right the warrior I'm gonna leave the archer where he is because he's got good range and reach we can go ahead and start putting damage on that uh, chariot let's get you out of here for safety reasons and here comes his her warriors up this way okay but I really kind of want them to meet us on our own ground have another warrior coming just in case oh they got our trade route that's disappointing so they're putting a little damage on the city that's kind of to be expected but nothing too concerning and there's horseback riding And we should be able to take out this uh, chariot now. Good experience for us. We'll fortify, or heal up and fortify. We have another warrior coming. Don't know if we'll need him, but uh, good to have him nonetheless. Alright, so I think you're going to be kind of safe. We'll just leave you right here for now. Yeah, amenities. That's not unusual. Yeah, it's a shame we lost that trade route. That's kind of annoying. All right, let's go ahead and get iron working. Just to do so. I think I'm going to go ahead and get a settler going, actually. Well... Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and get a settler going. I want to try to put down these cities as best we can. And I want to get one down here, too. And let's have you get our trade route back. Let's see, 12 turns for that. 16 for walls. I, don't, I think the trade route is going to be more important at this time, really. This looks like all she really has so I'm not overly concerned I was kinda contemplating maybe taking one of her cities actually uh, maybe even liberating Cahokia and just maybe taking it maybe just taking Cahokia altogether because we got diamonds we have turtles I think that might be a good idea we could go ahead and just like already start working our way up there um, these guys will be able to hold off anything down here so let's head up to let's head up to Cahokia we probably will need at least another archer to take Cahokia see let's just kind of work our way back down here want to reveal as much of uh, that area as we can get and um, I'll say maybe two warriors and a uh, archer but we're probably gonna need one more archer as well but we need to kind of see what she's gonna do down here I see a uh, spearman coming but fortunately, we have the water here, so we have a bit of a choke point. And we should be able to take this chariot out here in just a moment. So a little experience for our guys. Just like that. A little war. Not bad. 
Oh, I wish we could have taken that chariot out. All right, let's actually let's try to heal him up one or two before we go. All right, so what do we have? Yeah, nearly dead. I hope she doesn't plunder that amber. That would be quite annoying. No, but she's gonna she's gonna die on the um, attack. Yeah, they didn't plunder the the amber. Interesting. I need to try to get that warrior over here though. Need to get him. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Get him like down here. Hold him up for now. Let's heal a little bit before we go. She'll probably want peace once we start going after Cahokia. All right, so here. Chariot and 16, that's a little too long. We've got three more turns before we buy the tiles. Two of five. We can go ahead and get a water mill. What are we working here? And we probably will need on the next uh, policies. Yeah, we still have. Let's go ahead and buy. Let's go ahead and buy the tiles then, since we're on that now. Now that I think about it. Let's see. We're gonna want uh, this tile and this tile for now. We should be able to beat him to the copper. Yeah, that's five out. So hopefully we'll probably, after we get the T, we may actually start going towards the copper. So that's something we could think about. I don't want to buy that tile. I don't even think we could reach it to purchase it. Yeah, we could, but I'm not going to do that. It's not necessary. Let's see. Did we want any other tiles here? I might want to get this ocean tile just to kind of block her. Whoops, not not that city. Oh, come on. Um, four turns to that. So, yeah, we could go ahead and get like that and just kind of block her off. I don't want her to take any part of our uh, lake. All right. I don't think we want to purchase anything else. We'll grow. We'll get to those horses. Um, yeah, we'll work on it. We got the settler going right there, and we might be able to take Cahokia. I would like to get some more units up there, actually, so that we can sure so that we could ensure that we get it. But we would probably need another archer. And I don't know what else she's going to be throwing at us. I would imagine she doesn't have that much to throw at us. So we could just go ahead and send this guy up. And now she's back on this side. So we'll do this. And then we'll move back in. An archer and a warrior should be able to hold off the rest of whatever she may have. Of course, she doesn't seem to have anything up here. So she's going to be screaming for peace here real quick and let's see I wanted to show you guys um, so you see here she's at war with us so she has grievances against them and I think it wears off at 8 uh, at a turn so you see she's developed 150 grievance versus warmonger penalties which we used to have and we can see she likes uh, neighboring civilizations with, with uh, populous cities and she it has really good favor with us. There isn't anything negative. I don't think any of these have any negative um, modifiers towards us. It doesn't look like it. So she just kind of just out of the blue decided to attack us. So, well, she is playing as France and uh, they can be aggressive, I guess. So, all right. Interesting. Interesting. But if we could get, if we could get Cahokia, that would be nice. And we'll heal up once we get into our own territory. It'll be faster. See, if we were suzerain with Mexico, we could um, 
get their help and just kind of move in and just take the city with, with just them attacking it themselves. It's going to be a good experience for our warrior. All right, so there's drama and poetry, and let's take a shot. That lake is a huge help, huge help for us. And she's got a spearman inside, so let's go ahead and just post you up for now. Get you right about here. All right. All right, so choose a civic. We'll go with uh, games and recreation. And policy-wise, let's um, maybe get some builders to help us out a little bit. Get some production rolling. I don't think we really need any more units. <clears throat> And we're good with loyalty for now. Protection towards settlers. Yeah, we could do that. We could um, start working a little on that. We could even make one down here in this city. That'll give us a little bit of a boost here to complete that one, at least for the next 12 turns anyway. Might be a little dangerous to make <laughs> a uh, settler while we're at war. And we got an eruption. A gentle eruption, no doubt. Next to our city. Uh, fortunately, we didn't get any damage, so that's good. I'm just going to move him up here like that for a moment just to kind of see where that uh, spearman ran off to. Let's go ahead and heal you up. Get you up this way. And I can't pop the city? There we go. How much damage are we going to be able to do? Eh, not bad. We get a couple more uh, archers up there, and we'll be able to take the city no problem. But the thing is, I don't want to... Um... Yeah, it's going to heal really quickly. It's going to take more than one. And we could use our warriors, of course, to pop the city as well. So that's what we'll do. We'll get the warriors over here and have them pop the city. Let's see. How much damage can they do? Decent amount. Decent amount. So she's going to be screaming for peace here any minute. But we will take Cahokia. Oh, here comes the, that spearman. Okay. I guess she's doing a bit of a flanking maneuver on us, huh? I don't want him attacking across a river. Okay. Yeah, if we had... We need to get some more archers up here. We're going to need at least maybe even three archers, maybe, to really have any level of uh, effect. So we are kind of running a skeleton crew of units. And there's a promotion for our archer, so good experience for us. And I see he's kind of creeping up on us. Oh, he put a city down. He put a city down. Uh-huh. Well, I'm glad we got this tile. This fissure really isn't going to do us any good outside of just the science. So, I'm not overly concerned with that, but good to know. Let's see if we can't get some, uh, maybe suzerain with Mexico. We did. We did. Oh, boy. Okay. So, what we can do is... We can move our guys around and let them come in and help us pop the city. 
so let me uh, move these guys around so Mexico can get in here. And we'll go ahead and get a promotion. Because if he attacks us, that's not going to be a big deal. Well, if Mexico moves in, I won't need the archer up there. That is awesome. Now, imagine if we had Hungary. If we had Hungary, we could levy all of these units and even upgrade them to, like, swordsmen. And we could probably just demolish her with swordsmen. But, of course, we aren't prepared for that, so. But anyway, just, uh, that was something that Marbrazeers did on his video. It was quite amusing. And, of course, yes, yeah, she wants peace now, but we'll refuse. No way. We're going to take Cahokia now. All right, guys, so on that note, it looks like we are one away from a settler. We have Mexico moving in, and we now have her city under siege, or Cahokia under siege. And uh, I think we're going to take Cahokia. Because uh, I think that'll be a great city for us. We won't get any penalties because uh, it's a just because it's a city state. Uh, it was one that she had, um, but I, you know, we should do well with that. And I don't know how much pressure we're going to get from Am or this Ambios city. But nonetheless, guys, um, thank you for the likes, shares, and comments. If you know of anyone who would be interested in watching Civilization VI, a turn-based strategy game. Be sure to share this with them. And of course, if you're interested in getting the game for yourself, I'll leave a link for you down there in the published section. And uh, of course, you can click on that channel icon appearing right there on the screen to subscribe, along with clicking that notification so you guys will know when the next video is available. And I will see you guys in the next video.